Hey guys, in this video I want to go ahead and show you how to go through and correct your Anim BP. So for example, if you notice something like this, where let's say you go to aim, and you can see it's off-center. That is due to some changes over here in regards to variables. Now the reason for this change was to better support the generic holding of actors system. So for example, with the new update that is submitted around, I think, either like I'm either going to do it today or tomorrow, it contains basically an overhaul for holding actors. So what I mean by that is you have a lot more stuff that you can do with different things just by inheriting from an interface. So if you pick up a site and put it to your hands, you can aim with that site very easily. If that site contains a render target, it'll automatically turn it on and off. And you'll have movement sway, rotation lag, all that kind of stuff, like you would as if you were you know, holding a firearm. So things like the sway, movement stuff, all of that carries over with anything that you're holding. And that goes for things like I've already implemented it by default into the light laser class, so you can pick that up and use it like a flashlight, you know, just like you can in real life. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and basically if you hit compile in your anim BP, you'll see a list of these. And it's just a couple of them that you have to fix, so the easiest one is to go through and just basically click on them. So if I click on this first one here, It'll take me here, and the easiest way to figure out, like, uh, okay, what do I need to replace these with, is to just go and reference the example here. So this is the public, that or the one that's up on the uh, repo. So we know we're in Set Essentials, so we go to Set Essentials, and here's Custom Pose Location, here's Custom Pose Location. And you can see what we have here is, let me go ahead and clean that up so you can see a little bit easier. Oh, I need to add this into the example, or the tutorial, but that'll be done later. But you can see here we have custom post location, custom post location, sprint post location, sprint post location. So we know we need to change out the firearm pose location and rotation with held actor pose location and rotation. So we'll just delete these, search for held, I have caps lock on, held actor, and we'll grab the location and the rotation. And we just plug them right in. So go ahead and compile that, have the exact same thing here. So this is current firearm pose location and rotation, even though it should really be the same one, but this is in the firearm collision and aiming. So right here, so same thing, held actor pose location and rotation, held actor pose location, and held actor pose rotation. So now we got over here, Collision pose, location, and rotation, and the alpha. So these are going to be the firearm pose. So firearm pose, sorry, firearm collision pose. Firearm collision, here it is. Firearm collision location. Firearm collision rotation. And the firearm collision alpha. So we plug these on in. Now we're good to go. So now when I hit play and I go to aim, you can see it now goes to the actual center, you know, of the screen. So we know that we're good to go there. So simply enough, that fixes all of those. Now the only thing we want to do is go back into set essentials and we'll go ahead and add that length of pool node. So here you can see in the example, if I head over to it, set essentials, and here's right at the custom pose, so right before the one we just did. You can see we have a stock length of pull offset, so that is just this feature here. And I already know what this is, that's another change I gotta show you. And that is just the uh, on aiming actor change was changed to on held actor change, so on held. At least I thought it was. Anyways, I'll deal with that at another point. So for now, just going to bypass. So this is the length of pull change. You can see it automatically updates like so. So that's what we're going to add in. So if we go ahead and view the NM graph, we have a transform modify bone just like with everything else. It's just an add to existing and parent bone space to the VP site. I might actually be able to just copy and paste. Let's see if that works. And it does. That's nice. So from there, all you do is just plug it right in. And if you search for stock, you should be able to find stock length of pull offset. And we plug that in right there to the translation. 
I'll save. And I don't know if it's going to work with the current farm customizer. Yeah, that's right, because this farm doesn't even have a uh, stock as an option. But, yeah. So, that's going to wrap up this video. It was just a real quick one. I wanted to get everything up to date with the tutorial project because in the next coming videos, I want to start working on a firearm customizer to kind of give you an example on how to work with the attachment system. So anyways, that's going to wrap this one up and I'll see you in the next one.